All right, folks, we just got out here. We're gonna try those new baits and then we're gonna talk about the Kapawa prop. Check this out, folks, by the way. Here it is, right here. Before I put this prop in the water, here it is. Check out that three prop design. To me, it aids in speed, not necessarily in quietness, but I don't think it's any louder. So for guys like me that are getting used to a fiberglass boat for the first time, they realize how much thrust they need to move it. It's actually really handy. I'm having to get, having to get readjusted to it. It's that much faster. And no, they're not a sponsor or anything. I'm just telling you, I think it's a good deal. Now, who knows what the long-term effect is on it, on the trolley motor. You know, I don't know. If you break it easier, is it brittle, you know, more brittle? I don't know. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing. Partnered up with these fantastic companies. Hey, what's up everybody? We're gonna start in my garage to start this episode off. We've got two things we're gonna be talking about. Uh, one is we just made a brand new bait right here. Check it out. We're calling it Ghost. It's a really cool milky look, but it also has like a silver flake in it. Sweet. We're gonna fish with that tonight and see if we can catch some crappie on it. Just made it. I noticed today on the guide trip that the white baits were really working good. So I went up here, quickly made some. So I can check them out today before tomorrow's guide trip. But the other thing is this is gonna be my first impression of the Kippawa, Kippawa trolling motor prop. It's awesome, it's not new, it's been around for a while and uh, I've been using it for the last week and a half. And I, and I gotta tell you, I just wanna review it versus the uh, the Wedge 2 that usually comes with your Ultrax. So this is your standard prop right here. Don't ask me for specs on either one of these things. I can only give you on water experience and that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna give you the thoughts on that. I'm gonna show it to you. And uh, we're gonna give these new baits a check. So. So here's the new Ghost bait right here. We're gonna give it a try on a one thirty second ounce three pit three pound fishing head. Ooh, that wasn't pretty. Water temperature is at eighty five. We've got a cloudy day. We actually uh, winds are up today. We just happen to be in a hidden cove from the wind. But we've got about a twelve mile an hour wind right now. first fish it's a small one I won't say that they're going crazy for this bait that's for sure especially based off of that guy but uh, it does look pretty and I'm sure on certain days it would be a great addition so I added it to my taco box because I know that white's been working lately and to have different shades of white I actually different consistencies and bright it is it just seems to it seems to matter i don't know why but it does so adding the ghost to my it's not for sale on the website it's not something i'm probably going to add right away but i like playing around with new baits and to think that i just just made this is pretty cool casting out to these fish right now these fish are completely on the dirt on the ground maybe from a day of activity on the lake I'm not quite sure but um, they are definitely not up high all right folks this is probably the part you're waiting for and the part that you tuned into this video but the Kapawa trolley motor uh, high performance trolley motor propeller is really an awesome part here and we're going to talk about it $35.99 on the websites right now you guys can check it out 
No, I'm not sponsored by them whatsoever. All I wanted was something that could push my boat just a little bit harder and probably even a little quieter. I can tell you that it definitely pushes better than the props that come on Ultrex. Your Ultrex comes with the uh, Wedge 2. Typically on Ultrex, this is what you're going to get. I think it's a great prop, actually. It's strong. It cuts the weeds or whatever. Um, pretty pretty silent. Um, I have broken a few, and I broke that pin spot right there. This is probably the second one I've broken, um, which is probably a good sale fail safe uh, design. I mean, I like it, it's okay. But I'll tell you one thing it does struggle with is power compared to this guy right here. This Kapawa is, uh, I would say, gosh dang, at least 30% faster. I'm, you know, that's just me throwing numbers out there. But when you get in the boat, you notice it immediately how much faster it's pushing the boat. In terms of durability and plastic, it feels great. You know, I can't see it warning down. And for only $30, $35, I'm like, that's a no brainer to try it out. So. I'll put the link down there. You guys can check it out. Send, tell them three pound fishing sent you. It doesn't mean anything to them, but maybe they'll take notice of the channel. But that's the wedge and then the three prop design there. Kapala. I'm giving it a double thumbs up so far. Now, who knows long term? This is just, you know, using it for two weeks. Um, but noticeable change on speed for sure. All right, folks. Well, that's going to end it. I got a beautiful sunset ahead of me. Check this out right there. And I'll tell you what, I'm just going to enjoy it. So it was fun to make some new baits and see if they would work immediately. I think they did. It's a tough bite right now, so I'm not gonna blame the bait, but I can tell you that I like how they look. So you may or may not see that here in the future at threepoundfishing.com. Um, the Kapawa uh, prop tried out $35. It's worth trying out, I think it's good. And uh, otherwise, next tournament, Tournaments are coming up here in the uh, middle of September, so uh, I look forward to sharing those experiences. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I really do. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies.